The really important thing about using a vase like this is making sure you clean it beforehand. Now to many that's a little scary because the rattan is stuck onto the vase, but using hot soapy water, rinsing it really well and leaving it in the sun to dry, it's the perfect way to make this sparkle. And the thing about the sun is it will actually make the rattan dry tight, which means you won't have to worry about it falling out. Now I've got a couple of different varieties of things that I would like to show you because I think you'll be astounded at the things that we can do. First of all, I'm going to use the shorter vase which I've put some water into. Now this is a really cute shape and very, very versatile. I've been out in the garden and I've picked a few um, of my favourite things. I've got some hydrangea foliage, I've got some Queen Anne's lace and I always like just to pick a few of each. I don't need to have a mass because I love the idea of layering up the different flowers and plants. I've got some baby kale which I think looks really cute off to one side and then I'm going to just put this Queen Anne's lace in around the perimeter and basically where I can stick it in and just get a little bit of height. Make sure you always move it around so you can see where you are putting your flowers. I'm not sure what these are called but they are very pretty and they're also growing in my garden so I'm going to pop some of them in as well. And I think you'll agree that that does look very pretty and also too could be a very cute gift to give to a friend already in the vase and ready to go. Now of course using a vase like this as a candle holder is 101. I'm just using a very neutral candle in here but you can take it up to any height, any size you want and really doing a whole mass of these together really looks stunning down a table. But again obviously it's a very um, simple and easy thing to do. I'm going to use the taller one to show you how I display things like knives. Now I love putting my cutlery in a container that I can see, putting it on the bench and you can be guaranteed you're going to use it. Handles up so we have no accidents, but I love the contrast of the wood and the rattan and the glass and I think that sitting on your sideboard really does look gorgeous. If I had shorter teaspoons I'd put them in the smaller one so you've got a variety of sizes happening. And last but not least, I've added some soil because I like the idea of planting a few little pansies. I've been and bought those at my local nursery and literally all you need to do is take them out of each container, place them where you want them to go, Oops, make a little bit of room and pop them in. It's that easy. I always put too much in because I like it to look full. So for all the gardeners out there, don't tell me I'm doing it wrong. There we go. It's one of those fiddly little things that you have to keep pushing and playing, but it really does look gorgeous. I always stick things like this on a little bar, a little table outside, something that's sort of uh, a garnish for your cheese platter. Very cute.